Victor Getenya, head of EV at Watu Uganda, highlights that electric bikes operate on rechargeable batteries, eliminating the need for petrol. This transition can greatly reduce greenhouse gas emissions in alleviating air pollution. You can imagine the number of uh, border borders or bikes that are registered within Uganda, and you're talking about upwards of 2 million. Most of them registered within and operating within Kampala. If you can look at the roads of Kampala, you can see the number, pure sheer numbers of bottle bikes that are riding, uh, moving through the streets. And you can imagine the, um, the effect of, of having a, a bike format that does not have air pollution as a, as a byproduct. He emphasizes that electric motorbikes produce zero tailpipe emissions, a critical factor for cities like Kampala where poor air quality is closely linked to respiratory illnesses and other severe issues. The other part of it in terms of pollution, there is noise pollution. The noise that an, an internal combustion uh, engine makes is also very significant in the sense that uh, you have a buzz that is always in, your, uh, always in the play where there's always a buzz playing around. With the, with the, with the electric format, it's quiet. The World Health Organization estimates that air pollution contributes to approximately 7,000 premature deaths annually in Uganda, underscoring the urgency of cleaner transportation solutions. Stakeholders assert that leveling the playing ground for electric bikes to compete with combustion-powered motorbikes in the market could significantly enhance air quality, fostering a healthier and more sustainable environment for all city residents. And partnerships are key in achieving this. Nothing can happen with one company or one safe border or one Gogo Electric or one Ministry of Science and Technology. We need to come all together as providers who work in this ecosystem and we have to, and I think government needs to provide that platform. You know, there are 400,000 motorcycles, Boda Bodas in uh, Kampala alone, at least, and it's growing by 10% a year. No one company is going to be able to fully serve that whole market. So I, I think if we really want to make that transition by 2030, we need at least three or four players working, uh, each in their own way, each with their own pros and cons, uh, to be able to fill that market. With an estimated 350,000 of these motorbikes operating in the city, the eco-friendly bikes are not only transforming the way people move around the city, but also offering a cleaner, quieter, and more sustainable alternative to traditional fuel-powered motorbikes.